Hello everyone and welcome to CCN, the Cali College News. Due to the COVID-19 virus, the upcoming newscasts for the rest of the year are going to be mostly shot from our personal devices to practice social distancing. As a team, we are striving to bring you the best newscast possible. On Sunday, March 8th, the Cali Cheer and Dance team competed at Great Bend, Kansas for a shot to win a Region 6 championship. The dance team got second with their amazing palm routine. The cheer team got first in their division, crowning themselves Region 6 champs. Cheer had the best score in small co-ed and large co-ed. The Tigers were supposed to travel to Vegas in April to compete for a national championship, but due to COVID-19, the Tigers will not get to travel this year. Amazing job on the season for both the cheer and dance team. Spring break is coming close. We asked students what they will be doing for spring break. Little did we know that our spring break would get extended another week due to COVID-19. Stay safe and practice social distancing. Well, the Scholars Bowl got to meet Mickey Mouse this week. Here on campus, we have a real life Disney sweetheart, Grandma. My name is Barbara Jo Green. I worked at, as a parts manager at Ray Hammond Chevrolet, and they dubbed me down there Mean Joe Green. So I've been going by Mean Joe Green as well for quite a while. I treat you kids how I would want my children, grandchildren, or great-grandchildren treated if they were away at college. Grandma always needs hugs. Aww. Hugs always make me smile. Grandma is loved by all students here on campus. While we're here, let's get an update on the issues happening My in the My name is Dawn Williams. I'm the food service director um, here at Cali College. So the best way that I knew to deal with the issues that have been going on here lately that did hit social media. I went back and did some retraining with my staff. We did some checking on how things were being cooked. We don't want anybody to be ill or to not want to eat in the, the dining hall. And I hope that people will understand that we do make mistakes um, just because we're all human. And we are definitely trying to correct anything that we can. And if there's any issues, any other issues, I would hope that the students would come and talk to me um, just to give me the opportunity, one, to know that there's an issue, and two, to, to try to correct it. Care, because we really do care. Hey, y'all. Hannah Abu Faisal here. I know it's a different location and everything, but we're still rocking and rolling. I hope y'all have had a decent extended break. So a little piece that I have today with y'all is a Women of Cowley. So exactly what I have is this month, if you didn't know, is Women's Month. And I brought in many of your Lady Tigers into a photo shoot and I had a heyday with them. So uh, we got to just see how they interacted with other girls. We got to hear about how, uh, who they looked up to when they were younger. And let's take a look at your beautiful, strong and empowering Lady Tigers. My grandma is definitely my role model. My aunt has been in life. I love my mom to death. She's always been there for me. I really love my cousin. Definitely my grandma. Um, definitely my <laughs> Most likely, I feel like it's my best friend. That is funny. Uh, <laughs> my best friend. Thanks for watching this episode of Cali College News. We will continue to cover all things Cali throughout the rest of the semester. Please wash your hands and be safe. Tigers out. Dang, what was your first reaction when you heard that the national championship got canceled this year? Uh, it was definitely tough to hear. I felt like we had another opportunity to prove ourselves at the national stage. And I thought that that last week of practice we had was really tough. And we really, we really did work. And I thought we was going to go in with the mindset of, like, we, we're starting all over. And we have something to, we have something to prove. And that being a takeaway from us, just not, not knowing that that be my last game played for Cali. And my last, my last, that was my uh, last week with the guys. I just, it was kind of tough. Let's talk about the faculty, staff, your coaches, and the fans. What would you like to say to them 
as you are moving on from Cali this year? Coach Nitch and Coach Tassam for, first of all, just taking a chance of me and believing in me, allowing me to be myself, allowing me to lead. And, I mean, obviously it came with hard work, and they just they believed in me from the jump, and I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, they're really great coaches, and, I mean, I think the accolades we had this year just proves that. And then I'd like to thank the staff and the fans just for supporting us all year through our struggles. You guys are there at home games, pack the gym up very loud, supporting everyone, everyone from starters to the bench. And you guys are there at the away games too. I mean, traveled a couple hours just to support our team. You guys were loud. And we heard you out there and really appreciate that. So I just wanted to say so thank you. What was your favorite memory with this year's team? But I think the ones that I probably cherish the most were like, just a little small conversations we have in the locker room after practice. Uh, practices where we were just competing, where both teams were just wanting to win so bad. And then the times we were down pretty big during the uh, games and we having to come back and just win. Like, I don't think we were never rattled and we'll come back and win. And it just, that, that, that's them type of games just felt really good winning. So I'd say those are like the most memories I cherish. Watching this episode of Cali College News, we will continue to cover all things Cali throughout the rest of the semester. Please wash your hands and be safe. Tigers out.